Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of cosine 2x dx. So we have here integrals of trigonometric functions. So here are the formula that we can use to evaluate the integrals of trigonometric functions. So you must memorize all this formula when you are evaluating integrals of trigonometric functions. So for our problem here, before we can apply the trigonometric formula for this integral, let's apply first u substitution. So I can let u be equal to 2x, then get the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u is du. Derivative of 2x is 2dx. So we have created this dx term on the original integral. Let's just get rid of this extra coefficient of 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So we will have du over 2 is equal to dx. If we substitute, we will have the integral of cosine 2x that's now equal to u. And then this dx is equal now to du over 2. So this over 2 or constant of 1 half, I can just put it in front of the integral first. So I will have 1 half integral of cosine u du. So we have 1 half times the integral of cosine u du. Looking at the formula, we will have integral of cosine u is equal to sine u plus c. So therefore, we will have 1 half times sine u plus c and don't forget to transform back the u in terms of the original variable 2x. So we will have 1 half sine 2x plus c as the final answer. Next, we have the integral of x sine x squared dx. So let's use u substitution first. So let u be equal to x squared. Getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u is du. Derivative of x squared is 2x dx. We have created this x dx term on the original integral. We just get rid of this extra coefficient of 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So we will have du over 2 is equal to x dx. Substituting, we will have the integral of so sine of x squared, which is now equal to u. And then this x dx is equal to du over 2. So this one half is just a constant. I can just put it in front of the integral first. So I will have 1 half times the integral of sine u du. So we will have 1 half. The integral of sine u du looking at the formula, it's equal to negative cosine u plus c. So therefore, we will have 1 half times the integral of sine u du which is negative cosine u plus c or negative 1 half cosine u plus c transforming back the u in terms of x squared. So the final answer will be negative 1 half cosine of x squared plus c. For number 3, we have the integral of 2 second x plus tan x quantity squared dx. So, we can expand first this square of the binomial. So, applying the shortcut, we need to square the first term. So, we have 2 second x quantity square plus the product of the first and the second. So, 2 second x times tan x. Then, there's still a coefficient of 2 in front plus the square of the second term, which is this tan x. So, we will have tan x quantity squared, then dx. Simplifying further, we will have the integral of 2 second x quantity squared, that will be 4 second squared x, plus 2 times 2, that will be 4, then second x times tan x, plus tan x quantity squared, that will be tan squared x, dx. So, this time we have uh, 4 second squared x plus 4 second tan x plus tan squared x. So, if we integrate term by term, we can evaluate this integral of second squared x. In the formula above, integral of second squared u du is tan u. Also, we can evaluate the integral of second x tan x. The formula above, the integral of second u tan u du is second u plus c. 
But for this tan squared x, we cannot yet evaluate because we don't have an existing formula for that. What we will do is, I can transform this in terms of its Pythagorean identity using the second squared. If we do that, we will have 4 second squared x plus 4 second x tan x then plus. So what is the Pythagorean identity for tan squared x? So that will be second squared x minus 1. And notice that we can combine now this 4 second squared x plus second squared x. So it will become 5 second squared x plus 4 second x tan x minus 1 dx. So we can distribute the integral symbol together with the dx so we can integrate term by term. So we will have the integral of 5 second squared x dx. So this 5 is constant. I can just put it in front of the integral. So we'll have 5 integral of second squared x dx plus the integral of 4 second x tan x. Again, this 4 is constant. Let's put it in front of the integral. So we have 4 integral of second x tan x. Then minus the integral of 1 dx or simply dx. So we will have 5 times integral of second squared x dx. That's now equal to tan x, right? Plus 4 times integral of second x tan x, that's now equal to second x. Minus the integral of dx, that's simply equal to x. And then don't forget, plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.